I bring in all the wishes and greetings to Dr. Uh, Aparna Pradeep for scoring CML rank number one, AML rank number two in ENSS session 2023 in field of DM clinical hematology. Congratulations you. to you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you. And we know a brief background from where you started till date. I did my MBBS from Indira Gandhi Medical College, Pondicherry, uh, and MD General Medicine from Government Medical College, Kodikod. I finished my MD in July 2022. Then I am doing my senior residency in Government Medical College, Manjeri. Why clinical hematology? I think it's a fascinating subject. And it is a straightforward subject, but we have to give a lot of attention to each thing in the patient. And I think I'll enjoy that. So I decided to take <laughs> clinical hematology. When did you decide to do that? I decided uh, late on. I was very confused on what I should take. Uh, in January only, I decided to take clinical hematology after a lot of thinking. So once you decided to do clinical hematology, then what did you do to achieve it? After that, I uh, I saw the videos of previous toppers. So I saw it is mainly all of them were from speed. So I decided to join in February. I, what you, what you're doing today? Now I'm doing the same. <laughs> Great. Now, uh, so how are you able to manage both your residency program and your preparation? How much of time you have been allocating for it? And what all you did at that time? Can you tell us on that? Oh, five to six hours I am able to allot. Yeah, it is not that hectic here in Manjeri. It's not that hectic. So evenings and all, if I'm not on duty, I'm usually free. So during that time, I used to prepare. Uh, first, I started with Harrison. And then uh, speed videos also I watched. And I think speed mock exams are very, very good. And it resembles more to uh, the INISS pattern. So I think it was very So how much of a video watching, how much of book reading? Uh, that first I finished Harrison. After that, I started video. And then notes. Then notes I started revising. 21st edition, correct? Uh, 21st edition, yes. So, how much of time dedicated for uh, clinical hematology? How much for general medicine? General medicine, three months I actually prepared for hematology only. In between, a little bit I saw uh, the, uh, that general medicine part, quick revision series and all that only I saw. Otherwise, I didn't prepare general medicine. That how many questions did you attend? 76 questions. What happened to the four? Four questions, the options were very, very, very close. So if I attempted, it was negative. high likelihood of negative marking. So that is why I did not mark. Now, what is the message for your juniors or junior colleagues to choose a specialty in DM? And once they have done it, then how they should move towards it? And what's your message for them? One thing, you have to choose something you will enjoy doing. That is the most important thing. And uh, if you work for it, very sincerely, I think anyone can get into what they want. Sincerely, if you are trying, that's what I want to do. I think from, and, from uh, Pondicherry to Kerala, I think the accent is also has slightly changed, I believe so. No, I am from Kerala. Then you studied in Pondicherry through uh, the NEET or All India? All India, All India. In Pondicherry, right? Yes. Okay, so it's the other way around, right? I think <laughs> I thought it was this way around, and uh, so it is good because the the slang is very unique, actually, and uh, and it it it, it will be uh, I mean nice to hear also the the way it is uh, I mean articulated. It's really good because whenever I used to talk to them, and it it will be of a lot of great to hear this kind of articulation, and uh, I wish you all the best and all the success in the field of clinical hematology and uh, have a great career ahead and also we could allocate this time for you to thank whom all you want to thank okay sir i first of all i want to thank my parents for believing in me and supporting me uh, in all my decisions and my, and my uh, sister and my all my teachers and all my seniors who supported me and helped me through uh, this journey of mine and so, also my friends yes. So you might have uh, informed your rank to 
the people who have been very close to you and also probably your mentors and to people who inspired you to do so. I mean, uh, I mean, what was their reaction in your achievement? I mean, I mean, what did they feel? I mean, looking at your ranker, how you yourself, I mean, I mean, did you expect, I mean, for your preparation and the way you have worked and hard, I mean, did you expect such a topmost rank in this exam? I expected means I wanted to get it. And I expected also during my preparation. That's not expectation. That expectation is not here. Very nice, doctor. I wish you all the best and all the success. Keep going. Keep inspiring as always. Thank you.